we got the gourds, mini pumpkins. Um, it's an assortment of gourds, daisy gourds. There's some large gourds and mix of mini gourds. Also just gourds from our Halloween decorations last year. We got them all planted along the trellis along with morning glories. So they should all be coming up soon. What isn't already? We got sunflowers planted to make our wall up front. I think the trellis looks good even without anything growing on it, but it'll look really good when it's covered with vines and flowers and gourds. We got sunflowers planted all in this bed. I just have to get a, some dirt and spread a thin layer of dirt out over it. And that's going to have to work for this year. Probably put the bunnies over top of this when we bring them out until the sunflowers get too big. Just to add more fertilizer to it. The garden is still doing good. We just have to transport a lot of water because we still don't have running water here. And it's a little hectic, but it works. We got, there's peppers all through the middle of here. Some of them are smaller. And then there's more big ones down towards that end. That's a voluntary squash of some sort, and that's some sort of voluntary cucumber. We did not plant those. And then at the ends, we did squash at the end of each bed because they kind of get big and overwhelming. So this is green zucchini. This is yellow crookneck squash. White scallop squash. And then more yellow squash. These are plants we started. We took them out of the greenhouse. It's getting too hot in there. This is Orion Royce's three sisters bed. We haven't done a video in a while, but the beans are up, corn's growing. So today we planted butternut squash on this side. Just gonna do that side because they're gonna try and go towards the sun, even though we want them to go that way. So that gives them some space to go that way. And then we'll trim those vines or keep them, we'll move them and keep them in the bed. And we'll keep trying to pull, maybe attach them to strings to where we can string them out to this side into the woods. Around these stumps over here, I planted some extra squash and out in that area where in the future we'll have four more beds. I'm just going to do cantaloupe and watermelon. And the peas, cucumbers, a few broccoli plants. Cucumbers and peas are doing good. Then garlic is the taller plants. And those are radishes underneath there. You can see some of them already getting big enough to pick. It's pretty good with how little rain we get. It's a variety of different shapes and colors of radishes. And then this will be cilantro. We're waiting for our plants at our other house to seed. And we'll use those seeds. Excuse me, this will be more lettuce. We're just waiting, spacing out when we plant our lettuce so we don't have it all growing at once. But this will be lettuce through here. Cilantro will be over here from that post down. We like fresh cilantro and it's good for the bees. So we'll grow a little more than we use, but it'll work. We got green zebra tomatoes, um, and then we went over all these, but we planted some more yellow pear tomatoes and more of just the variety of heirloom tomatoes. 
We do have a bunch of the Brad's Atomic Grape Tomatoes. Plants for sale, two dollars a piece. If anybody needs any. And then beets with the dark red stems. Spinach, it's doing good. Lettuce is doing okay. We're just gonna go with okay. It's not doing great, but like I said, considering the water ordeal, it's doing pretty good. And then some of our marigolds for pest control. And I'm just planting more seeds between each tomato plant also. Some of these peppers look a little droopy because we just transplanted them today. They'll be fine. But this is just onions and peppers. Mainly bell peppers with some jalapenos, hot banana, sereno, and I think two habanero plants. Our potato towers are doing great. We had to go up the next level. You see we started there and now we're up to here and the plants are already coming through. The other thing that's working really good for these is the leaves are popping out the side providing sunlight but everything you cover becomes a root and makes more potatoes. So you can get a lot of potatoes in these towers with a lot less work than planting them in the ground and digging them. You see this one's doing even better. It's going to need another layer soon. Since the last time we did a video, we took and bought some of this netting. It's hard to get on camera. I think you can see it there. Um, for a temporary chicken coop, our hens and all, we were getting more animals than we thought we would. So we brought them, transferred the greenhouse into a chicken coop. And it's worked great. There's about a foot of overlap on the ground and then landscape stakes, and nothing seems to have got in yet. Knock on wood. And you see we got ducks and geese, they're hiding under the wagon. They're young, but it's been warm enough even at night. The next week or two seems to be staying warm, so they'll be good by then. And then, That's the duck's pond, if you will, in the greenhouse. Those are the baby chickens we had. They're no longer babies. And they do a good job of scratching this up. Hopefully make some grass come up after we move them. Everybody needs to go outside and do a rain dance. <laughs> 